Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. My name is Melanie K Love and I make videos every single Sunday or Monday depending on where you are around the world. Now this week in Weekly Angel Guidance this is going to be, it's going to be like episode two as a part of Eclipse season from July 8th to the 14th. Now this is a powerful week as we are at the beginning stages of our eclipse. As you know from last week we have had the eclipse in 10 degrees of cancer. Now eclipses basically end things and start something new. So it's interesting that we're going through a lot of massive transformation and change. So let's get a little overview as to what you can expect with the moon phases for this week. So starting off on Monday, we have the crescent moon. This is asking us to basically refine or plan out exactly what you need to take action on from Tuesday onwards. So your affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful now that I have the opportunity to plan for success. I segment my intention into actionable steps and schedule into my calendar. So that's for Monday. That was kind of a continuation on from the end of last week. Then we have the first quarter of the moon. So this is from Tuesday to Friday. This is the action phase of the moon. And your affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful now that I feel aligned with my intention, excited for all the delicious goodness and to make peace with fear. I take inspired action and am an unstoppable force. This is kind of a big deal. It's like, yeah, you had this big vision of your dream life and then you basically reverse engineer what you need to focus on for this month. You planned it out, you put it into your calendar. Now you're actually doing the work. And this is what you feel in aligned to do. If you're gonna be planning up, if you're gonna be taking inspired action, well, if you're in the, this phase of the moon and you don't feel inspired to take action, what is holding you back? If it's you, then you need to make peace with that because as you know, we're, we're healing the shadow aspects of ourselves as we're going through a lot of transformation and change, which I'll talk about the astrological influences later. If it doesn't feel right, then go back to the drawing board and just reset. Maybe there's something else that you feel more aligned to work towards. Just make sure that you're not procrastinating or you're holding yourself back. Okay. Then from Saturday and Sunday, we have the waxing givers moon. This is asking us to trust. And your affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful. Now all will be revealed in divine time. I surrender to the process and set myself free. So that's basically what you can expect with the phases of the moon for this week. In terms of the astrological influences, there's kind of a lot. There's five retrogrades, <laughs> five planets in retrograde. Retrograde basically means that you, it means that things have been, are going to slow down so you can see the things in which you have missed. It means that you need to work three times harder to get the results, but meaning that the results give you three times you work three times hard, but you get three times the result. It's kind of a really big deal. So we're kind of in this crazy, like transformational energy. And we kind of have been since April. Here's why. So we have the Jupiter retrograde, which is the time of philosophical change and introspection, which is to do with your intimate relationships and your romantic ones. Then we have the Pluto retrograde until October the 3rd. This is a time of massive transformation. And this is where you really need to have patience and to have faith. And you gotta have faith, 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 and trust. <laughs> and then we have the Saturn retrograde until September the 3rd, uh, 18th, which is the Lord of Karma. It's a double dose of karma. So be very mindful about your thoughts. If you have been aligned with your true authentic self, your karma is going to be fabulous. If you haven't, things are gonna hit the fan. Neptune retrograde, which began two weeks ago, is here until November the 27th. So this is about delusions and deceptions, and this is a time where disappointments can surface, but know that they are divinely orchestrated. Now, the way to work through this is to channel your inspiration and enthusiasm into hard work to manifest your dream life. We also are in Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde is a planet that rules communication, electronics, and travel. 
It could be a hairy time if you're traveling, maybe just leave a couple of hours earlier. This is when you could um, have a little bit of, you know, delays in your travel. This is when your electronics can just start working out of nowhere or you're having like trouble uploading a video or trying to message people. I remember last Mercury Retrograde, I couldn't post on my Insta stories. I was like, why isn't it uploading? I have, you know, super fast internet, but it's not working. So just be mindful that this is what's going on um, and be mindful about your words. The words that you speak become, no, what is it? The thoughts that you think become the words that you speak and then they can manifest into your life. So just be mindful about that. We also have the North Node in Cancer which is a very nurturing time where we're taking care of ourselves as we're literally prepping the foundations to what our life is going to look like for the next 20 to 30 years. All right, long story short, there's a lot of stuff going on. Let's see what we need to know in terms of angel guidance. So this is the Shadowscapes Tarot that I use, and this is a general reading. So just take from this what feels truly best for you. Okay, let's pull the focus card for the week. So July 8th to the 14th. What do we need to know? One card, angels for the focus for my MK love fam. There it is. The fool. Ah. <laughs> and then I heard a chain of fools from Aretha Franklin. For five long years, I thought you were my man. But I found out you're just a link in my chain. So it's like you're starting something new. You had to let something go. You thought you're going to be with someone, some job or whatever it is for the long term. And it turned out that that actually hasn't, that isn't the case right now, but it is a blessing in disguise. It just means when something ended abruptly, you were on the wrong path. And the angels are like, darling, you have no idea what I have lined up for you in this side. So surrender to the process. It's all about trusting. And they were going to show you, the angels are basically going to show you the way to manifest everything. So the fool is the beginning. Oh my God, this is amazing because last week we had the world card, which is the last major arcana. And now we have the fool card, which is, well, it says zero here. It's the first one. It's having the balls to change. It's having the courage to change. It's knowing that there is something better out there for you. It's knowing that you deserve more. It's knowing that you are enough and that you can achieve everything that you could ever possibly ever dreamed of in terms of your dream life. Like last week when we were looking at the, the new moon in 10 degrees of cancer, which was your, what was it? Solar eclipse, lunar eclipse? I can't, I can never remember. Hold on, let me just pull it up. Uh, new moon in 10 degrees in Cancer is a total solar eclipse. Okay, so this is beginning something new, which we already know, but let's see how this manifests in terms of our week. So what do you need to know for Monday? It kind of like went off with the bang. There's one that was separated. I'm going to pull that first. Ah, the six of wands. This is like victory. This is like standing tall and standing proud. There was a lot of other cards, which I'm not going to pull. Okay. So the six of wands is victorious. It's like you have made it through. You made it through. Uh, I risk it all for this life we choose. It's all an adventure. It comes with a breathtaking view. Walking the tightrope with you. Tightrope from... A star is born. Walking a tightrope with you, which is interesting because that's um, my song with my husband and I. <laughs> Walking a tightrope with you. That's beautiful. That's having the courage to change. And maybe the courage didn't come from you if you were on the wrong path. Maybe that was a divine intervention, but you know that no matter what your situation is, it's only going to get better. I, you know that saying, the best is yet to come? It's, it's it's literally true. Things can only get better. Better now. Round, round here. All right, let's see what we need to know for Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday is, let me just get rid of that one. Okay, so Tuesday is the first quarter of the moon. This is the action phase. Let's see what we need to know. Oh, there's a lot. There's kind of these ones, and then there was that one that I, but I, there's kind of a lot. 
I'm gonna pull this one, this is the one I saw first, and then these ones flipped over, and then that one. So let's just see how we go. Oh, okay, so the Queen of Pentacles. Ah, oh, I love this guy. I pulled this one today in my journaling. The Queen of Pentacles is the nurturing mother, someone who wants to take care of other people. Um, she's very grounded, she's very loving, she's very loyal, she's very kind. Think of it as in terms of the mother, wants to protect, wants to look after. Who are you trying to protect? Are you protecting someone because it's coming from a place of fear or is it coming from a place of love? There's a number of cards. I'm gonna pull the other ones because I feel like there's more to this story. Okay, the 10 of swords. <clears throat> And there's the throat chakra. The 10 of swords is about allowing what doesn't serve you to go. So in terms of becoming this lovely, nurturing, loyal mother, maybe this is you and you allowed some, you allowed, that's the key word, maybe you allowed somebody to take advantage of you and you need to let this person go because they don't serve you in your new chapter. And the seven of swords is the lies and the deceits. So I feel like, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords is wrapped up in one person. Maybe this is someone who's taken advantage of you. Maybe this is someone who you have allowed to mistreat you. You now have the courage and you have the responsibility to yourself. Like you owe it to yourself to be treated like a queen. Don't go around living in a, you know, a world that's second best. Like you deserve, like what's that, that thing from the holiday where Kate Winslet is sitting down with that old dude having dinner and, and he's like, and she's like, I've been going to therapy for years. And he's like, you need to be the leading lady of your own life. So stop settling for people that you feel like, oh, I need to do it because this is my age and this is what I need to do. Who gives a friggin' flip? You know, if you look at the people that have what you want, you have no idea their circumstances and you don't even know if they're going to have it for the long term. Focus on you. Stop thinking about what you need to do to please other people. Focus on nurturing you. You are the queen of pentacles. Allow this to go so you can blossom and then you can then become the king of pentacles. All right. No, I don't need the other card. All right, let's move on to Wednesday. The action. How does that fit in with the action? Hold on. The action is the queen of pentacles. So you've already gotten to such a level, but don't allow like lies and deceits. Don't allow other people around you to kind of bring you down to their level. Don't take advice from anyone that isn't living your dream life. Seriously, allow that shit to go, say thank you, and then rise up. Raise your vibration, however that looks like for you. So Wednesday is also in the first quarter of the moon. So this is the action stage. What are you working? I saw that card. Whoa, whoa, that definitely wants to come out. There is a number of cards, but the first one that I saw is the King of Swords. So King of Swords is getting, he's been through such a lot. He's been through a massive, massive journey. In terms of the action, he is now at a higher vibrational state because he's been through challenges. He's learned his lessons or he is learning to work with them and he's open receptive to that. He's also like put his armor on and he's kind of like focused. He's not allowing what used to penetrate deep within his soul to affect him in the level in which it used to because he has the awareness. This is coming because of judgmental people. This could be coming from, I would say your family because we're dealing a lot with the Jupiter retrograde, which is to deal with your intimate and romantic relationships. There was a number of other cards. Let's see what this one is. The Nine of Swords, which is looking back of all like the journey in which you've been through or the marks on the chest to be like, yeah, Send love to them. Say thank you so much. The Three of Cups is, is your team that is helping you get to where you need to be. And then the Queen of Cups. Do we have the King of Cups? No, that was last week. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is that emotional freedom. You are freeing yourself from it as you're taking action in this next phase. The two cards that I want to go to is the judgment, because I feel like the judgment is coming from other people. They'll be like, I can't believe this happened and blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut up, you know? Don't take it, I'm just keep going back to it. Don't take advice from people that aren't living your dream life, seriously. And then the three of cups is teamwork, surrounding yourself, no, not surrounding yourself with people. Well, yeah, surrounding yourself with people that have the same vision and the dreams to raise you up to where you need to be. This could be coaches, mentors, this could be 
your classmates, your teammates. This is, I don't know, what does this look like for you in your life? But you're getting to a stage as you're beginning something new, as you're not dealing with that judgment anymore. You're just saying, mm, like, I've been dealing with this shit for years and I'm not going to put up with it anymore. Like, I'm not gonna keep continuing to put up with this for the next 20 or 30, 30 years. We need to come to a compromise or you can just bugger off, you know? Like you're getting to that kind of like assertive stage because you're really learning to protect yourself. And as you start to change, people around you will kind of be like questioning what you're doing. But just know if it feels right for you, go, go with it. You know, you don't even need to tell other people or like your family about it, just maybe just tell your closest person. That's like roots for you, no matter what. You know how I said last year, year last year, <laughs> last week, you just need that one person that is going to be with you no matter what and pay attention to who that person is because you will know when the shit hits the fan. It's a person that's always there to like cook you dinner, to wash your clothes, probably is your mom or your best friend or your husband or your boyfriend or sister, girlfriend, whatever it may be. You're just starting a new chapter and you're trying to navigate how does this look, basically. All right. Maybe the action is the action is you putting in the boundaries. Maybe the action, because this is the time of philosophical and introspection. I feel like this is boundaries. I feel like this is boundaries. The new boundaries that you're putting in. The new boundaries that you're putting in for other people, but more important, importantly yourself. You set this massive, you know what your dream life is going to look back. And then you reverse engineered what you need to do for the next six months. And you're focusing on this month and you're like, what? Okay, what I need to do is put in these boundaries because I'm not dealing with this shit. Okay, boundaries, eh? Mm. With me, I'm a little bit, because I'm an Aries, I'm a fire, so I'm a little bit too forceful, which means I have to pull it back. I could just be like, Rah! and they're like, oh God, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that, but it's a reflection of you and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, Thursday. Okay, Thursday, we're coming out in threes. The Trinity, first card is Knight of Wands. We had that last week. The Moon card, we had that last week. And the King of Wands, we had that last week. I, I shuffled this deck multiple times, by the way. Okay, the Knight of Wands we had last Monday, which was the card that kind of tricked me up. But now it makes sense in this phase of the moon, which is interesting because we're healing the darkness. You're taking inspired action. You're getting to a level where you're like, I'm healing these shadow aspects of myself that keep coming up because I need to deal with it once and for all and set myself free. So I literally can become this person that I know that I'm always, that I always knew that I was destined to become, you know? Have a dream that scares the absolute bejeebus out of you. And then just segment it back and just work through chapter one what do you need to do don't go from chapter one to like chapter 20 and then you're like overwhelmed you're like ah and then you just shut down and you do nothing the nine of wands is the movement <laughs> the movement towards healing the darkness i feel like this is boundaries okay and then the, the king of wands we've had two kings and we've got a queen ah we've had two kings and two queens Ooh, that's interesting so we've had the king of wands is getting to a level in terms of wands is like your creative talents and abilities. Like what do you love to do? You've gotten to a level, you've achieved something, and now it's a time to like, to use that high level of vibration and channel that into your healing. You know, everything is interconnected into your life. If your business isn't going well, then there's something going wrong in another area of your life. Switch it around. If there's something going wrong in your relationship, then that's going to manifest in terms of your business. Last week, we had the Wheel of Fortune card. So things are really picking up for you. And the fact that in the action phase of the moon, we have the Knight of Wands, the Moon card, and the King of Wands. It's like you've gotten to such a level, a higher vibrational stage, which is you are just blossoming and you're able to heal something that maybe you missed and maybe it was the wrong time. So you're just free. You're just freeing yourself from the chains which you've been carrying. I hear chain of fools, but then the first, the first one I heard was chain. I'm in chain. I never thought this is where I'll be. Never thought this can happen to me, me, baby, baby. 
yeah, you were in chains, but you're breaking free of that now because you're the, the fool, which is the focus card for this week, beginning something new. And also you have the moon, you can heal. You're taking the mask off of who you used to be. You're putting it up on the wall and you're like, thanks. You know, think of it in terms of like when you go to like Italy and they have all of those beautiful like masks everywhere. You know, take it off, put it on the wall, admire it. That was a chapter of me or burn it, whatever you need to do, you know, and and look at the heart. Make all your decisions from a place of love. I need to get a wiggle on. We're already at 21 minutes and I'm already <laughs> not even finished yet. Okay, Friday. What do we need to know for Friday? Still in the first quarter of the moon. Friday. Wow. Oh my goodness, there is a lot. Oh my God, it's all the kings and the queens this week. We got another king and queen. Oh my God, has this ever happened in Winkley Angel Gardens? Three sets of king and queen. We're getting three, three, three. Queen of Swords, she is pure. She's all in white. White is purity. We've had this recently and there's so many butterflies around her. So there's like pure transformation. She's made all of her decisions from a place of love. She's not, she's not, in terms of the challenges that, that she faces now, she makes them from a place of love. She's channeling her intuition. She's channeling her higher self. I just looked at the camera, it said 2244. Two, partnership, four is stability and intuition. Then the other card that I just saw just then is the King of Cups. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that just reminded me of that thing from, um, oh, what's that annoying lady from Friends? Who, who that chick's always after channeling. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I can't remember her name, but she's so annoying. But it just reminded me of a scene from that because we just watched Friends recently. Okay, <clears throat> that's when the new moon was in Gemini and was like, just play, have more fun. I'm like, yeah, let's watch Friends. And then there was a pop-up shop in Primark in Manchester. And I was like, Central Park is here. <laughs> Anyways, oh, maybe there's another card that I need to tell you about. Oh my goodness. It's a temperance card. It's the balance one. That one was like itching to come out. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Swords and we have the King of Cups. King of Cups is getting to a level in terms of your emotions and you have achieved so much. Like looking back, you it's just like you don't even recognize who you are. It's like you're, you're just, I heard like fighting fair. Do you know what I mean about that? Like fighting fair is like sticking up for yourself in terms of like finding your balance. Look, yeah, I just keep going back to boundaries. Let me go to Sunday to quickly wrap this up before my camera cuts out of me. Sunday angels, please. Last card for the week. What do we need to know? Wow, two of cups. Okay, we had this a lot. We've, let's be real, we've had this like the last three months. <clears throat> okay, one moment please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Two of Cups is the balance in terms of the emotions, but also in partnership. It's very much, it's not like the lover's card, but it's like a balance. And then underneath we, can you see, it's like Pisces, it's got the two fish. It's the emotions, but it's the balancing of the emotions. I see partnership. Okay, how do we figure this out? So basically, the fool is we're starting something new. We've gotten to a different level of healing. It's kind of the same as last week, but there is three, when is it? Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. Is it three sets? So that's King and Queens. King and Queen, King and Queen. So there's two lots. So we've gotten to the level. We've got the king and queens of cups, which is the emotions. What else do we have? The swords? We have the king and queens of swords. So in terms of emotions, you have figured out and settled your um, challenges and your battles. Pentacles. Where was the other one? Swords, cups. Oh, and then we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So they're not they're not matching. This is an amazing week, my love. I hope you have taken a lot from this. I Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh my God, I haven't done Sunday. Why did I thought I was done? Hold on. 
There it is. Sunday is the three of wands. Okay, so three, oh, three of wands is in the trusting face of the moon. <clears throat> this is like walking out onto a peak and you're trusting the process that everything's going to work out for you. you. You can't see the rest of the path. That's the thing, but you trust the process and you know that the path is going to be revealed. Get into alignment. Do the things that make you feel good about yourself. Have a look. There are two other crosses before where people have failed. People have died. People haven't um, cut the mustard, you know, people haven't had the determination or may, most importantly, haven't had the why, like, why is this so important to you that you need to change it? They were like, oh, I want to do it. But then they like fail and they don't persevere when things hit the fan, you know, but you do, you're different. You're walking through, you've got this little cat kind of with you and you've got this, the sun, sun, sun illuminating the land. You can see that anything is possible. Anything truly is possible with where you're at. And you know that you're gonna achieve everything that you have ever wanted. You have to set the boundaries up, you know? Allow people to treat you the way you want to be. Work in a job that actually feels good for you. You know, if you're an entrepreneur and you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Read Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert. I recommend that book to everyone. It's amazing. Also, She Means Business by Carrie Green. If you're struggling in terms of your business and you want a program to revolutionize your whole life, come to me because the program that I did last year changed my whole life. Like literally changed, literally changed my business overnight. And I was like, well, not overnight, I put a bloody lot of, <laughs> that's when I took like three months off social media last year as I was prepping for all of that. It changed my whole life. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like my work is of massive service. What I do helps transform people's lives. And I'm compensated with that in a way that is an energetic match to the work that I give. You can have that too. So no matter where you are in the world, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you so much love for this week as you take action and put in those boundaries and spread your wings and fly. You're the king and the queen is with you. You have gotten to a level of celebration. I'm very proud of you. I know some of you have been through hell. I've been through hell. You've been through hell. Everyone's been through hell. Maybe not everyone talks about it, but everyone has gone through some, a lot of stuff. Anyways, my love, check out the, oh no, it's on this side. Check out the astrological influences. I'll give you a little screenshot. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and, um, and then you can go through and read all of them, but I'll post them over on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's at Melanie Kate Love. Have an amazing week. I'll see you next week where we have the, what is it? Solar eclipse? or lunar eclipse. We've got the next eclipse, which is on our full moon. Oh, I'll see you next week. Bye.